Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm very excited to uh, try a new segment out called Collector's Thoughts. I'm your host, Respawn Granted, and we're, I'm joined today with my co-host, Real Batman. Say what's up. What's going on? There you go. How, so how you been, man? How you been? Good, good. Uh, the action figure world's got me going a little bonkers right now, but that's like everybody else, every other collector out there. There we go. There we go. So, uh, so did you do anything uh, fun this week? Anything good? Uh, this week, I finally got, after almost two years, my uh, Hot Toys Justice League uh, Henry Cavill Superman. There you go. Uh, took a long time, thanks to the COVID-19. Uh, right. Paid for it a year and a half ago. I just got it this week. Um, but at least I got it. Not going to complain. Not going to complain. I like it. Um, uh other than that, uh, not really much else to talk about in terms of pickups, but, you know, been watching a lot of news, uh, stuff coming up on, you know, like, uh, which would have been the Comic-Con exclusive, but oh, you yeah, see, yeah. like, virtual, like, on their, like, their Instagram pages, like, all these companies dangling all these things in front of us, which is absolutely my <laughs> wallet, but that's besides the point. Yeah, I, I, I hear you, dude. <laughs> How about things with you? Good? Yeah, yeah, not bad. Uh, I actually recently picked up the uh, John Wick trilogy. The wife's never seen them, so, and I never saw the third one, so we started with the first movie again. Watched it last night. Phenomenal movie. It's so good. Keanu Reeves is amazing. Uh, let, me, let me tell you, dude, he's, he's, he's one of the few guys that not only was he in movies like Bill and Ted, which was completely left field, but he was also in Speed, he was Neo in the Matrix trilogy, which was huge. And then now he's now in another trilogy, which is huge, as John Wick. Yep. The guy's incredible. Mm -hmm. But other than that, not, not too much for me either. Um, but, uh, but anyway, we, we do have one thing we want to talk about that's kind of been uh, picking our brains and kind of, uh, you know, irritating us. Irritating, dash exciting. You know, we're going to talk about both sides. But it's pretty much... Um, NECA and the Ninja Turtles and uh, you know Funko Pops and all that like, against scalpers and how the average collector such as us who have full time jobs and family stuff are struggling to find anything. I know I know you have a lot to say about it, so why don't you why don't you start us off, man? Well. Um it really hit home this week when on Instagram, NECA on their Instagram uh, page uh, posted, dangled the Super Shredder. And uh, it was amazing to see the amount of people, and I thought I was in the minority, but apparently we're not. Uh, the amount of people that were pissed off at that post. And it was surprising to me what some of the people said that they, I guess they've complained in the past on Twitter to NECA and uh, the response or lack thereof uh, in terms of them doing something about this, like, you know, another figure that we're, we're not going to be able to find or the scalpers are going to gobble them up and we're going to have to pay two to three times more than what it, it retails for. Um, so apparently NECA's known about it and hasn't done anything about it. In fact, I, uh, based on what some of the people were saying on there, NEC has actually alienated the, uh, the average collector. And uh, it's not a good way to go about doing business. Um, yeah, I, I think that they dropped the ball a lot with this. Uh, I think that they could have done a better job, A, with their response, and B, uh, I don't think it was uh, by surprise that later on that evening, after they had about 1,000 people commenting after they posted that, negatively about the company as a whole and how they're dealing or lack there of dealing with the issue of the distribution problems and the scalpers and all that, that they posted something else saying, you know, we're aware of the problem. It was later that evening. You know about it. You saw it. Uh, you know, we're, we're aware of it and we're, we're going to deal with it. And in the near future, I don't know about you, but the near future, when you know about a problem that's been going on for at least two or three years, at least two, uh, you've known about it. That tells me that not only were those people telling the truth about how they responded to them when they tried reaching out to them, trying to make them aware of the problem, but not only did you not care, uh, you're not even prepared to deal with it now. Right. 
right? It's it's funny because that that's one thing I I, I have noticed too. Is every every single time NECA posts something, it's such a it's such a cesspool. Like it's it's such a mix of of feelings. Like you look at the picture, you're so excited because oh wow, there's this new you know whatever. Like you brought up the super shredder, but then there's also that feeling of am I ever even going to find this thing at a, at a normal retail price? And a lot of people do comment on there. Like, I, like NECA, it's at the point now where NECA can't even post anything without one of the first few comments being negative. Like, like, oh, this is an eBay exclusive, which by the way is one of my favorite comments. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, yep. But like, like th- comments like that where they're like, oh, the scalpers are going to love this because – the average collector feels so helpless and it, it, I'll give NECA credit because for San Diego Comic-Con, they released the, uh, the four pack nin, uh, Ninja Turtles, the, uh, I believe it called Mutagen 4, which was the, the, the music ones that they did. And they actually did go through some of the orders and cancel ones that were obvious bought orders and put them back on target site to try to limit that. So I'll give them credit because, that's something that, in my eyes, it shows that they see the problem. They, they're trying. I don't know how hard. I don't know how, you know, a lot of people don't feel it's hard enough. But I kind of feel like the apology plus that shows some promise. But the bottom line is, is, is a pre-order system, like a limited pre-order system, where you only allowed one or maybe two per address, could easily resolve this issue. I think it would make the average person happy. It would keep scalpers away because scalpers are at the store at seven o'clock in the morning and they wipe the place clean. And then they go and buy, you know, they pay, it's a $50 set and it's on eBay mere hours later for like $300. It's ridiculous. I I can't stand it. I think it's not right. And, um, you know, I know, I know some people say to be patient. That's one thing I've heard a lot, but, it's tough to be patient when, like, for example, the first wave of the NECA Ninja Turtles from the cartoon, I've never seen them to, as a whole on the shelf. I've never seen them. And that's wave one. But you have found yeah. them on the Rondola bases, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. I knew that, that was coming. That happened, that happened this week. Let me tell you something. It, it, this goes – it's beyond NECA. Uh, NECA is failing, and in my opinion, I'm not saying that they're not trying to try. I'm saying they're not trying and they're not caring hard enough for the average collector because if they wanted to, they could have fixed the problem already. You have the middleman, which is Walmart and Target. So you're not controlling, the, like you just said, that a pre-order system would fix a lot of the problems right there. Right. They don't want to do that, but yet the people in the UK can do it. And that's nothing against them because they don't have Walmart and Targets there. I get that. But if you're going to do it there, you got to do it here, especially if you know there's a problem going on here. Yeah. You walk into your local Target. That first, that first wave came out how long ago? Off the top of your head. It's got to be at least, what, probably a year now? Right? It's first, be the, first wave? the first wave? Yeah. Maybe longer maybe, than that? Maybe a little bit longer than that. I'm not sure. Uh, people can correct us in the comments below after if they want, but it's been over a year. But yeah, over fact, a year. The fact that we're finding every once in a while they'll get in some like a, a, a box like the Leonardo Shredder from the first wave. Yeah. Why is that underneath the gondola base? Yeah. Why? And then when I found it, as I'm raising the gondola base, one of the target employees says, excuse me, what are you doing? I, and I pulled it out. I said, well, what are you guys doing? This doesn't belong underneath here. Yeah. And then I told you about it. And the next day you went back and I took it out, physically put it on the shelf. And the next day you went back, where was it? It was back underneath. Back underneath. So it, it, it's, a, it's a problem across the board, and, and NECA needs to address it. If they're not going to deal, if they don't, if it's going to be a constant problem with Target and Walmart, then maybe they should cut them out altogether. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> dude, forget Target, forget Walmart. I'm sorry, dude. Here's the thing. We're not, I'm not saying in any way, shape, or form that a pre-order system is perfect. It's not. But at the very least, it gives you a fighting chance and like I said, you limit to one or two per address. That gives you a fighting chance to get them. And I'm not saying to, to you know, make everything so easy to get that there's no chase anymore. There's no, you know, excitement finding them. That's not what I'm saying. 
what, why can't they do it? Like, for example, I love how McFarland does it. You can walk into a Walmart or a Target and for the most part, find your common figures of the Batman wave. And they did the same thing with the sports uh, figures because I used to love the sports figures, just like you did. And you could go into the store and nine times out of 10, find that common figure. Now, the Chase one, that's a different story. You might not find a Chase ever because there's always people there early in the morning grabbing the Chases. But I can live, same thing with Funko Pops. They do the same thing. I can live with not finding a Chase or not finding a, um, a, a, a rare, you know, limited edition one. It is what it is. But at least let me get the basics. So if, if NECA would just make it, you can get, you can get the... Um, you can get like the turtles, the basic set of the turtles as like common as, you know, a Funko Pop or something like that. And then if you want to do something where like, for example, the music ones that they just recently came out with, make those the chase ones, make those the hard to find ones, you know what I mean? Or make it where like, I don't know, man, maybe uh, like, uh, like the super shredder, he was the chase one. So like you have the regular shredder that's everywhere. And then the super shred is one out of like every five or six, you know? And honestly, stuff like that would still make it exciting to try to hunt for them. It would still make it where it's still extremely collectible, especially since NECA does a really great job with using the same figures over and over and over again, but just repackaging them in different, very creative boxes. Like with the turtles, they had the four turtles in that VHS um, San Diego Comic-Con box, which was amazing. Then they released them with GameStop individually. And then now they're going to, tar, uh, to Walmart as a double pack. So same figure, but re-released over and over again with different packaging. Just do something like that, where maybe the packaging's something rare or something. Just give us common people a chance. That's all I'm asking for, a chance. The problem is, is Steve, it feels like when you talk about the chase pieces, it feels like every NECA two-pack TMNT is a chase piece. I know. And it, it's, it's funny because... Uh, after the problems, all the problems with the first wave and people were already irate after the first wave, they couldn't find it, they couldn't find it, they couldn't find it. Uh, they, they released a statement saying, we're, we're going to re-release them. We're going we're gonna to bundle them different. Like Shredder was with Krang, the foot soldiers, it was two foot soldiers. But here's the problem. This is the thing that pissed me off was the, the turtles, two, two turtles came with two, you know, it was two boxes, four turtles together, two, two and two. But they, they didn't keep it with the original paint. They, they did it based on the merchandise. They're all the same color green. Well, the yeah. shredder and crane didn't change. The right. foot soldier didn't change. If you're serious about re-releasing the first wave, you don't change the freaking paint job on the turtles. Because a lot of people like me, who only have one of the first three, four, four I mean, that, what the hell is that? That's not the first wave. The turtles didn't they were screen accurate in the first wave. Those are memorabilia accurate. With if you remember back then when the cartoon was on, yeah. you know, on the screen they were all a little bit shaded green. They were a little bit different shaded color. And then on the merchandise, they were all the same green. That's how they used to do it. I don't know why, but that's how they did it. So it's like, okay, if you're serious about addressing the problem, you wouldn't have changed the paint job on the figures. You could have done that with the same paint job like you did in the first wave. And then come out with another wave where you change the color on the turtles because you know people are going to buy them anyway. They want all the versions of them. Just like now they're coming out with the ones with the video game uh, uh, yes. paint. Um, and they're gobbling them up anyway. Bottom line here is, I think this is kind of more like a conspiracy theory on my, on my part. Yeah. I, if NECA knows about this and they're letting people do it, I think they're like feeling the market. And what I mean by that is how much are people willing to pay for these on the secondary market? So that way, when they do go up on their prices and you know, they're going to go up on their prices, they know how much they can go up and how much they can get away with. That, that's interesting. I mean, you, you do have a good point there. I mean, it is one way to view it. The problem, the problem is though, like going back to what you were saying about the paint job and stuff with the movie ones, they didn't do that. They did not do that. They had, the movie ones that were in that San Diego Comic Con uh, thing, the ter the movie ter I mean, you might say, well, dude, how can you change the movie ones? That's just that same color it was. 
But what I'm saying is that if they were able to re-release the movie once three separate times and not really touch anything about them, they could have done the same thing with a cartoon. No one would have really complained, I think. And even though they re-released the second wave, even that second wave, you cannot find it. It's impossible. So my point is, is that if you had done a pre-order system, you can at least give people a shot at getting this. And you can at least make it where the average collector can, can possibly get the turtles, man. And it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you want to do the, 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 uh, the, the, different co the different paints? That could have been a chase figure. You could have made the four turtles with that brighter green that was more of the um, uh, merchandise. Why couldn't that be the hard to find ones? And then the regular cartoon ones, common. And another thing that irritates me, I don't know if it's Target or if it's Walmart, but th you mentioned the Turtles in Time figures that, that NECA is doing because they're doing the ones based on the video game. Those, you can go on Big Bad Toy Store and pre-order. Those, you can go on Entertainment Earth and pre-order. So why is it that I'm, ha I'm not having any trouble finding those? I went on their websites. I pre-ordered them. I already got my first wave in. My second wave is, is waiting because I already pre-ordered it. No trouble there. But the Walmart and Target ones, I have to beat up old ladies to try to find some. Or lift gondolas. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but here's the thing. They're not just doing it with, with the NECA stuff. And you know that because I told you. I made you aware of it. You went back there. I found uh, McFarlane's underneath the gondola. Target, I I'll tell you what, dude. I'm going to put them on blast because they deserve it. Uh, Target, I'm not saying Walmart's any better. They're, they're worse in other areas. But Target... What these people, and I'm not saying that it's all workers. I'm, I'm betting that some of it is customers. They show up there. They weren't prepared. They, they hide them underneath the gondola bases. But a perfect example is that Shredder, Leonardo, from the first wave two-pack. I took it out, and the next day he went back, and it was back underneath there. So that's not by coincidence. And um, I just think that... Um, there is. There yeah. is. Just to prove a point, I already have this, but just to prove a point, I, I lifted the damn gondola, uh, gondola, pulled it out, bought it. Just to yep. prove a point, because that's not right, man. How long was this under there? There's someone out there that probably wanted this, and that's ridiculous. That's not right. You shouldn't sure be not. hiding stuff on the gondolas. So, NECA, please, for the love of God, if you happen to see this video for some miracle, you need to do some kind of pre-order or make these the commons and then do the paint jobs as the rare to find ones. Let those be expensive. I don't care. Well, you know, the Target and Walmart are the middlemen. That, that's, that's clear. <laughs> that's, that's the agreement that they made. That's, the, that's their bed. They're lying in it. But they can hold Target accountable. And I'm not just saying NECA. I'm saying McFarland. If you're, look, I found, when I went there and I found that two-pack, I went on in the regular toy aisle. I was finding certain Marvel Legends on the, underneath the gondola bases. I was finding McFarland's. I was finding Transformers. I was finding Power Rangers. It, I was actually surprised by the amount of, it almost looked like it was overstocked, but it's not. You can tell it's certain figures that are underneath there being placed purposely. You know what I mean? And there's, it's not, I don't believe in coincidences. That two-pack that you just showed, I took it out in front of the employee. I told him, I said, this is, doesn't belong underneath there. I'm going to take <laughs> it time and I'm going to make, NECA aware of what you guys are doing here. The next day he went back, it was back underneath the gondola. Yep. So they could care. Yep. And the reason why they could care less is because they know NECA is not going to do anything about it. And we need to, as a collecting community, to put a little bit of pressure on NECA. Because here's the thing, and there's no going around this. Super 7 is now making figures. The first wave is scheduled to come out third quarter of this year. The yep. second one, and, unless the COVID-19 thing delays it, which is a possibility, right. is split be released the fourth quarter. Now, the Super 7 stuff is a little bit more, but you're also getting a little bit more accessories. It is, and the thing I like about the Super 7 one is, A, you know the, art the articulation. You're not going to sprain your thumb trying to get it to move. Even after you apply heat with the NECA ones, sometimes they still break. And again, I want to make this very clear now to anybody that's watching. I'm not bashing NECA. I have a lot of NECA stuff in my collection. Me too. I'm a huge NECA fan. Yep. Huge. What makes me really upset is the, their, the way they've reacted towards this problem or lack thereof reacting towards it. Right. They know there's a problem. They're not doing anything about it. But here's the thing. You can't run from it. It's not by coincidence that Super 7 all of a sudden is being allowed to make these. Yep. Okay. Whoever's in charge of the licensing for the Turtles, TMNT, is saying, 
we're going to let you, we're going to give you a little piece of the pie here. We're going to see if you're going to have distribution problems. We're gonna, and by the way, Super 7 lets you pre-order their stuff. So you don't have to sit there going to COVID-19 infested stores. Yeah. Strike out every single time or find them underneath gondola bases. Um, they're letting you pre-order their stuff. Now, we can't make a fair comparison until we actually get the Super 7 stuff in hand. Right. But I will say this. At least you can get your hands on it and feel confident about it. Now, once we have them in hand, we can make a decision, everybody for themselves, whether it, it, they could justify spending the extra $20 or not. Right. But based on the images that we're seeing, they don't look bad. They're, they're, they're uh, highly articulated figures, but they're more of, um, they keep that traditional look of the stuff that we grew up with yeah. from the Playmates, from the yeah. Playmates stuff that we grew up with. So. It's, it's that look with articulation. And by the way, I have Super 7 stuff for uh, uh, Masters of the Universe, and I can tell you right now, no, no company is perfect. They're, you're going to have QC issues here and there, but Super 7's articulation is a lot more flawless, and you hardly ever have to take a blow dryer to it. And again, I'm not not like a bang for the buck, uh, sculpt, paint, and when, there are, when their figures do articulate, and I stress do articulate without breaking, right. uh, they're good. I'm not knocking their product. What I'm knocking is their lack of response to the collecting community. You know scalpers are turning around and making more profit on your product than you do. Right. They're not doing that by mistake. I think they're doing it to test the waters because I think there's a price increase coming. Hasbro's doing it. So we know things are going to go up because they're just going to go up. That's how things go. But I think they want to see how much they can go up on the prices, personally. Well, see, the, the thing is, as far as, the, like, okay, so right off the bat, like you said a lot of good things about Netflix. I agree. They, for what you pay, you can't go wrong. I have a bunch of their horror figures. I have a bunch of their first turtles and all that. The, the problem is the distribution. And, and like you were just saying about, uh, about uh, Super 7, I pre-ordered the first three waves. A big bad toy store. It's different if there's a pre-order window, and I'm not talking about five minutes. I'm talking about a few months, even one month, and it sells out. It sells out. You can't complain. I'm sorry. You had a whole month to pre-order. They're not doing that, and part of me almost thinks that it's possibly I don't know, but possibly Target and Walmart doing that to them, telling them. We only want X amount of figures. And they're the ones handicapped in NECA. Now, maybe I'm standing up too much for NECA and trying to defend them too much. I don't know because I've seen other NECA products on Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth that's up for pre-order or that seems to always be in stock. So I'm wondering if Walmart and Target, if they're really the problem. And NECA, because they're working with them right now, doesn't want to throw them under the bus. You know what I'm saying? Because aren't the horror lines pretty popular? And yet the horror figures seem to be always in stock or almost always in stock on Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. Or they're restocking soon. I see that all the time too. So why are those always in stock or restocking soon? But Walmart and Target, it's like, what's going on there? Why is it them? Have you ever tried to pre-order anything on Walmart's website? It's a nightmare, dude. No, I, never even, I never even tried, man. It's, it's, I, I think personally if NECA... If they think there is no such thing as being too big to fail, if NECA thinks that they'll never lose the Turtles license, look no further than Mattel. They got a long leash, way longer. In my opinion, they should have lost the license a long time ago. I know that's maybe another story for a different day, but I'm just using that as an example. Right. Mattel that was another topic. <laughs> listen, Mattel had the license a lot longer than they should have. And I think companies look at that and they say, well, we're not going to do that. So, like I said, I don't think it's a coincidence that Super 7 is being allowed to make these figures with not exactly the way that NECA is doing it, pretty much screen accurate. Super 7 is going based on the Playmate stuff that we grew up playing with or collecting back then, but with the articulation. But either way, you can't go wrong with, with Super 7 or even with NECA if they can just fix 
the freaking problem. And I don't think they want to fix the problem. I believe, and maybe it is, they're testing the waters. They're seeing what these scalpers are getting. And they're going to say in a year or so, well, you know what? You know, we're going to have to start charging more. So instead of 50 or $52, it's going to go up to 80 because the way they look at it, it's still cheaper than what you're paying the scalpers. And at that point, I'm sorry, I'm going with Super 7. I, 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 I can't. And, and I'm going to go on a limb here and say, if they don't fix the problem, I'm going to say by this holiday season, if this persists and it's still a big problem, that's when Super 7 stuff is going to start hitting. Yeah. And once people start getting it in hand and saying, you know what, it's, it's not what I'm accustomed to. I love NECA, but you know what? They're not doing right by, by the regular collectors. They're kind of taking a huge dump all over us and they don't really care to fix the problem. And as a matter of fact, I think people will start shift, shifting over to Super 7 just to spite and hurt NECA. And I can I mean, just look at Mattel. They thought they would never lose the license. So if you're NECA and you're watching this, nobody's too big to fail. If you don't listen to the people that are giving you the business, that people that want to give you the business, just think about it. Like, I know it's all about money. Every company's in it to make money. I get that. But when you're letting scalpers make more money than you on your own product, that's just asinine. I don't understand that. Yeah. Why would you want to fix the problem? And dude, honestly, the worst part about it, in, in, in the way I look at it, is like when it comes to scalpers, they're not doing anything. It's not like they're buying the, the product, polishing it up for you, and then charging you a fee. All they're doing is going to the store before you can, wiping the shelves clean, and then just saying, I got them. You don't. How much? How much you gonna give for me? Three times the price? Like it's so it's so infuriating. I refuse to buy from from scalpers, and I know you said you did. You won't buy from them either because they don't do anything. It, it would be something different if they were buying these things. You know, giving them a fresh coat of paint and polishing them and changing. Fine. Hey man, you put some work into it. But all you did was get up early in the morning and go go to the store and wipe them out. That's all you did. That's not that's not anything that's worth double or triple the price. 10 bucks more, 20 bucks more, fine. I can maybe justify it as like almost like a delivery fee for you getting up early and wiping out the shelves. Fine. But other than that, dude, I'm not doing it. And that's what we need. To, that's what people need to stop doing is you stop buying stuff from these scalpers. Now they're left with like, you know, 10 boxes of something. And to them, they might not even care because they're just trying to make money. So they don't give a damn about these things. And going back to your topic about Super 7, that's a company... I would love to see both do really well because like you were just saying, the Super 7 ones seem to be more angled at the, um, at the Playmates like action figures. And it's great because they come with a, dip, like a, a head that switches out. It comes with a bunch of accessories and they are stockier and built like the toys. Whereas NECA kind of follows more of the movie or cartoon. So if both companies were to really do well, you have three very successful like lines that look fantastic. And me being a big turtle fan and you being a turtle fan, that is great. We don't have just one company or one line to, to buy. We have three. But NECA, either they're not producing enough or companies aren't letting them produce enough or whatever. It's, it, it's taking the frustration. It's, it's taking the fun out and it's putting in frustration and people are giving up. And they're really, really frustrated. And it's scary because, like I said earlier, every single time they post something, anything at all, the, like you go through those comments and right off the bat, it's already, well, when are we going to get more of the, uh, of the other ones? Are we even going to see these, this and that? And the other thing too, it is super frustrating when a company continues to make next wave and next wave and next wave. And you missed out on the first one. You're like, dude, you're still, you make what about one? I missed out on one. Or what about two? I missed out on two. Another good example of that is I'm not huge into wrestling figures or anything, but they recently did a, a Masters of the Universe dash wrestling like combination. You know what I'm talking about? I saw the first yeah. wave. I saw the first wave. Only two of the guys out of the first wave. I saw it once. Never saw it again. All of a sudden, now I go into stores. They're on wave two. I'm like, well, what the hell happened to wave one? <laughs> I, I missed out on wave one already. Like it feels like all these companies are doing this, dude. And it's like, I don't fully understand what the problem is. Like, I can understand not wanting uh, overstock to lose money. I get it. But when the demand is this high, 
There is no way NECA or, or any uh, Marvel Legends, any of these companies, there is no way you can't tell me that they're not gauging this stuff and saying, you know what? We could easily make another 10,000 of these and sell them. No problem. There's no way there's not somebody gauging this stuff. I, I refuse to believe it. And that, 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 you know, and that was one of the things that they, when they reacted on that super shred, when they got all those comments this week, earlier this week, that would be one of the ways to get, you would think that they could get back at the scalpers from selling those would to be re-releasing more of the first two waves. So that way the people say, well, I'm not going to pay $150 when I can, they're, they're, they're remaking, they're reissuing them again. And I could just get them at Target for the retail. So there's a lot of things here that just don't add up that NECA is doing. Like I've always said over the years, bang for the buck, they're hard to beat. Their, their, their uh, articulation, the joint system is a little bit, it scares the crap out of me. I'm not going to lie. I've broken quite a few figures. But <clears throat> I do like their product. I have some, a lot of their horror stuff. Uh, huge Michael Myers fan. He's my Batman of horror. Huge Michael Myers fan. <clears throat> so it's not like you can, like you, I, it's not like I want to boycott NECA because where, am I, where else am I going to get? They have, they're making two more Halloween movies. Where am I going to get my Michael Myers fix? It's going to be NECA. Just fix the problem. Like, you address the people. And he, they even urged in, in the statement they put out not to buy from the scalpers. Well, what are, you doing? what are you doing about it? So that way, because you know me and you and uh, maybe a lot of other people out there won't buy from scalpers, but there are people out there that get so desperate to the point where they give in and they buy from the scalpers. Where if NECA would just stop pumping out new waves and address the problem, Re reissue the first couple of waves so people get their hands on them that benefits them as a company okay it, they're listening to the to the fans to the community and it also hurts the scalpers because now they're stuck with all these figures that they can't sell right exactly and if anything they might even take a loss on them and that's the other thing too like the um like i said with the, with the, a pre-order system in place you can you can even gauge just by that like if you did a pre-order and you say, okay, let's say in the pre-order we're gonna do ten thousand. If that goes in like two minutes and you see that there's like, you know, you could go through it and check for bots and all that stuff, and you see that you're selling out that quickly, I mean the demand is there. It's not like we have a ton of different options when it comes to certain things. You know what I mean? Like I love Batman just like you love Batman. Actually, you love him more, he's your favorite character. But it's one yep. of those things where it's like you can find Batman. There's no shortage of Batman accessories and Batman toys and Batman figures and statues. They're out there, okay? Now, when you start looking into a more smaller group, such as the Turtles, they, and I'm not talking about the old school ones that like trying to find them at a yard sale or something, because obviously they did come out in the 80s and stuff. I'm not talking about that. I mean, new ones that you can find. It's not like they're everywhere, man. And non-kid ones, too, because obviously if you add the kid toys, and yes, they're everywhere. But I'm talking about for collectors, okay? People that put them on shelves, kind of like what you have displayed there. It's like, they're not everywhere. So NECA, you have a nice little niche right now. Between the horror guys, the, you know, the Michael Myers and the Freddies and all that, and now you got the Turtles on the other end. They have even Godzilla, like, well, actually, they did just lose that license. But still, just the idea that they have, like, they, they're, they seem to be going after the little niche people, like uh, companies. And it's like, there's demand for those. It's not like those... It's not like you're not going to sell that product. Like I said, I have not seen wave one of the turtles and a few other things, but yeah, I see the companies already do wave two, wave three. That's one thing I'll say with, with, with Funko Pops is that the, I love Funkos. I have probably close to a thousand in my basement set up. And they, one thing I love with that company is they release so many so fast that you can't even be angry for that long because you'll be bummed that you missed out on one and then all of a sudden there's another set that you want and you almost like forget about that wave. And then later on, or maybe like in a year or so, they re-release the, the one that you missed out on. And some of them are exclusives. And one of the comments that go right up my backside is when I hear people complain on Twitter or whatever, oh great, NECA re, I mean, I'm sorry, Funko re-released, you know, such and such a hot, a, a hot topic exclusive this or, or a, a box lunch exclusive that. Now the value is going to go down on the first one. Dude, I don't know about you guys, but I'm buying these things because I like them. Not because I'm trying to retire on them. You should not be buying figures and statues and all that stuff to try to retire. 
they're supposed to be collectibles and for people to buy and enjoy them. But a lot of these people, especially when the first thing that hops into their mind is, oh, the value is going to go down to the one that I have. Well, too bad. Don't buy them for that reason. That's not why I buy them. <laughs> and, and, and it just irritates me when you see comments like that. Because I see them all the time. I follow uh, uh, Funko Pop Hunters and stuff like that. And every time they re-release a Hot Topic exclusive this or a Box Lunch exclusive that, you always find those comments where people are like, oh, it's going to lower the value. Dude, who cares? Who cares? This is great because it gives other people the chance to buy these. And there's, especially with Funko, they keep getting new people in. So let's say you jump in now. Do you know how far back you'd have to go to try to get certain characters that you might want and how much you're going to probably spend? Now, I'm not saying for you to re-release every single thing you ever made, but when you look at something like NECA, when you still have a good you know, 60% of your, your clientele that are still looking for wave one, why are you already on wave three and four? They're still looking for wave one. Do a pre-order. Do something. Super 7 gave us that, that pre-order option. It's there. You missed out on it. I'm sorry, but it was, it's there. They're giving you a chance, man. I love NECA. I want both companies. I want Turtles. I want them to be great. And let's just just get it out there. Put it out there so people can buy it. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 it's, not hard. it's not hard to fix the problem if you really want to. And uh, like I said, uh, a lot of people were ecstatic later that evening when they said, when they came out and some people were saying in the comments, well, why couldn't you respond this way before? Yes. Yep. And you, you read my comment. I'm like, I was not supportive of that statement. I'm like, first of all, I'll believe it when I see it. Second of all, you have no choice but to respond this way. You got Super 7 breathing down your neck and you know it. And again, it goes back to, and again, I'm not a NECA basher. I have a lot of NECA. I've always been a big fan. You know that. I've always been a big fan. And it's like the way they've dealt with this whole TMNT stuff is uh, really left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. And you sent me that picture, actually. I don't know if you forgot of that person that returned all the NECA stuff. And it wasn't even just turtle stuff either. Oh, yeah. He returned a that, lot of stuff. That's how mad some people are getting with them. And, and, and that's my whole point. If you think you're too big to fail, you're not. If you think you're never going to lose the license, look at Mattel. They lost the license, which thank God for that. Because uh, <laughs> McFarlane's multiverse figures scale, whether you like the scale or not, you can't deny that at the same price point, yeah. hold a Mattel figure in hand and hold a McFarlane, there's no comparison. But that's another thing that we could talk about yeah. at another time. Maybe, maybe that'll but, be the next episode. Yeah, but I, I'm just saying, like, if they wanted to fix it, they could have. They've been aware of the problem. People have been trying to contact and have reached out to NECA. Their responses have been very piss poor, in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinion, apparently. And they've gotten such bad responses that they alien when they dropped that suit, that super shredder, and within a matter of a few hours, they were at almost a thousand comments. Yeah. And they were not positive either. Uh, it was pretty remarkable to see a company that a lot of people love because a lot of people do even people that collect strictly one, six scale and quarter scale figures, hot toys, even they praise neck and say, you know, for the money, they're tough to beat, but you, man, you, you, you got to do something about the distribution problems because if you're serious about fixing the problem, you'll re-release wave one, Painted the same way, all the four turtles painted the same way, not in different colors. If you're serious about caring about everybody across the board, um, because the demand is there. The demand is there. And if you're telling people not to buy from the scalpers, well, put your money where your mouth is. We release wave one. Yep. They could do it if they wanted to. I, I believe they read, I, I think they did it with the Bebop and Rocksteady. They, I don't they, they made they made more because nobody could find it. It was oh, a problem. Yes. yes. So if they they can do it when they want to. It's when and if they want to. And uh, again, that response was, I guess, a better response than what people had, had been getting. Uh, yeah. But for me, it still wasn't good enough. Uh, it, it, it was a good PR and, response. And that's just my opinion. Yeah, it, it was it was a good PR response. Uh, but yeah, we need we need to we need to see it. I mean, that, that's the bottom line. 
we love the product. People love their products. But if people get frustrated enough, they will boycott the products. They will. So, um, all right, you you have anything else to add to uh, this this, uh, this topic? Not really. I mean, I think we've pretty much covered it. I I, I don't want to stay all negative. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just something that I felt like we 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 needed to start right off the bat because it was something that happened this week, and I was fresh. I was pretty surprised by how many people were really. I thought it was just us, but oh, I, it, no. not, a lot of people were really pissed. I bumped and, into two other collectors at Target that are, have been desperately looking for the turtles. So, dude, NECA, for the love of God, make a pre-order system. Give us a chance. That's all you need, a pre-order system to give us a chance. We love you, you big silly fools. The product speaks for itself, but they, they need to fix, they need to fix this, the middleman, whether take out the middleman, whatever. Uh, yeah pre-order system uh you also have the bots too that you have to worry about which is the scalpers yeah which everything in a matter of sometimes five minutes it's all gone so yeah, that's why i'm saying do a pre-order but do one or two per address that's it none of this none of this other junk and you do a pre-order system you give everyone a fighting chance and uh you know maybe make like a two-week open window three-week open window whatever advertise it watch how many pre-orders you get i would be i would be shot if they, if they don't make a lot more than what they're making now i would be shocked they make a lot of money if they're smart yeah and uh and there, there's, there's a demand for those those figures but all right i got nothing else to add i, I mean we, we love neca we just want to see the, the product on the on the shelves and this is the only line that isn't on the shelves i find tons of godzilla i find tons of horror figures i find tons of this and tons of that no turtles we want the turtles man Bring us the turtles. That's all. We're, that's all we're saying. We love it. We just want turtles. But all right, you got nothing else to add, then, right? You're good. I think I, I think I got it off my chest that I wanted to get off. And yeah. So. Walmart. Yeah. 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 So uh, and if you have to, neck and get rid of Target and Walmart. You got you don't need them. Do an advertisement on your on your thing. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, but all right, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Real Batman. Thank you very much for joining us today. And. Uh, who knows what we'll talk about next week, guys. So uh, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, please like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you.